is probably find a star little erg. Congrats on first. How's it going? How's your day so far? Has it been good? Let me scoop my tablet over a bit more so I can see my computer screen a bit better. I see. Uh oh, where is? good day so far i did lost a uh, genshin and then um or well i started i woke up to astro and luna streaming pokemon which was i i was amazed to wake up to a stream from astro and luna so like let's hope i can draw today <laughs> um but yeah i gotta wake up to a stream so I chilled in the stream and I played Pokemon for a while, which normally doesn't end up very good for me mentally, but it turned out really fun. And then even after they got off, I spent like another like few hours playing Pokemon. And so I did that. I did a bunch of ranked matches, me competing and stuff, right? Um... And then I went and played Dreamlight Valley because they're going to start doing um, co-op soon. So you can like go play with your friends. Um, and so I, I wanted to decorate my place so it looks all nice when Riley comes to visit. And I, re I decorated my plaza. It's all really cute now. I was watching my next life as a villainess while I was drawing. Or not while I was drawing, while I was decorating. <laughs> I have done no drawing today. I didn't even do any warm-ups. So, I apologize if I'm not quite up to par yet. Honestly, those should be lower. Um, hold on. Let me just... Shoot. Wait. Ah, symmetry tool. My mortal enemy. No! Shit. Alright, hold on. I do it right. Fuck. You know, you know what? You know what? You know <laughs> You know what? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But I'm very much excited for my girl Katarina. So I've been re-binging my next life as a villainess all routes lead to doom. In preparation for the end of this month when the when the game comes out I'm so excited and apparently there's a movie I didn't even know there was a movie there's a movie coming out sorry I gotta take my sweater off I put it on because I was cold and now I'm hot I'm gonna get cold again I might have to change to a different like sweater or some shit I don't know I just, sorry, I'm removing clothing. <laughs> okay. Clothing has been removed. Blah. My setup's all, like, different today because of this stuff. 
Um, yes. The comic that I sent you is what this series is based on. It was a light novel, and then it was a manga, and then it was an anime, and now they're finally... Well, at least in, in North America, they're finally releasing um, a video game. Because <laughs> there is the original, like, the, there is a game for it, I guess, but it's only in Japanese and I can't read, so. I don't get any of that. Not yet, at least. Maybe someday. I hope someday. I want to play the game. I want, I want to play. I want to play the game, and I want to play, like, the game that is supposed to be, like, the original. <laughs> like, like, because the, the premise of the story is she wakes up as a villainess um, of an otome game called Fortune Lover. I want to play both my next life as a villainess, and I want to play Fortune Lover. Because, <laughs> I like, in the animes and stuff, they're always like, oh, the villainess, like, she was so cruel she got in the way and bullied the heroine and did all these terrible things like where what what serious has ever done that please what otome game is this i would like to experience it at least once oh i think my model keeps freezing up <laughs> i hope my computer can handle this i'll i'll abandon my model if i have to i'll become incorporeal Dang it. I thought I was gonna do the chair first, but the chair is defeating me. I fought the chair and the chair won. <laughs> okay, that looks like a plush cozy chair. Well, a cushion at least. <laughs> Oh, it, it might, it is not, <laughs> my model is having a hard time, I guess. Let me fix my camera, maybe. Maybe if I. Wow. <laughs> Ultimate enemy chair, indeed. No, now that just looks weird. I look too high up when I look at my screen. Okay, let's try that now. I'm gonna move my, my art tablet a little bit so it's more facing my computer. There we go. Oh shoot, wait, there was other stuff. Like, okay, hold on. Um, I guess I don't need to do the whole chair, but like, I kind of wanted to make the chair separately so that way I could color it and then make it like a thing I can slap behind me and stream sometimes. But you wouldn't see the mouth, so I guess I don't have to. I don't have to do the chair. Let me just pop this up here. We're gonna hide the ruler. Let's just get started on lining the actual art, the actual T. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm like leaning so far down towards my thing that it keeps not seeing my face and that's why my model keeps freezing.
those eyes look different. Okay. has won the poll. <laughs> Though I do have the other, the second place base loaded just in case. So I, I guess I should say hi Aster. <laughs> Cause that is the username. Yes, it's the little bunny up in the corner over there. You see over there? That little baby in the cage is my baby. I got them. I don't like this. I don't like this. Start like this. I guess I should have done the symmetry tool on the face so that way the eyes would have turned out the same. Hold on, I'm gonna cheat real quick. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it again. Oh no, the eyes are different size. Never mind. hold on. Never mind. <laughs> Everything will be a bit. No, I should. I can, I can just cheat and do this. Shush, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just gotta cheat a little bit. <laughs> That's fair. I did. I did say that. My model keeps freezing. <laughs> I don't think it's used to me having my head down this far. <laughs> I need to sit up, but 
It's hard. I get into the art and then my posture goes out the window, you know? What is drawing posture anyway? Sounds like a myth to me. Excuse me, we're, we're all, you know, that, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> okay, there's the hole. Um. Switch that a little bit. Oh, that is not supposed to play that often, but oh well. Better to have credit where credit is due. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. Okay, I want... Shade it in the coloring. Sit up, T. work any better <laughs> I could probably turn it sideways but I don't know how well that work oh I forgot to hold on this layer of the pencil Sorry, my, I'm gonna look a little funky on camera when I keep looking down. Sorry. <laughs>
yeah, you can use the you can use the art wheel at any time. Um, I've got I've got a separate canvas open for that. Feel free to do our first spin. Oh, I drink some water. Now my computer tries to keep up with what's going on. <laughs> <coughs> It should be on there. Okay. Is it gonna work? Is it? Hello? Oh, hold on. I don't. It's supposed to work. I tested it earlier. Hold on. Mix it up. What are you doing? <clears throat> hold on a second. Uh, where is channel points? Hold on. I swear I had it set up. Hold on. Hold on. I think Mix It Up is having a hard time. Uh oh. Did it freeze? Uh-oh. 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 Everything stopped working all of a sudden. I, well, uh, um, okay, well, apparently Mix It Up doesn't want to do what I set it up to do, so I guess I'll just manually spin the wheel. Hold on, let me pull up my bookmarks so I can open the thingy. And I'll just manually spin it myself when you guys redeem. So it doesn't want to work. So I guess I have sc It worked when I tested it, and now I'm just mad. <clears throat> Give me my wheel. Ugh, I have to manually redeem it because it doesn't want to work when I set it up the way it's supposed to work. Okay, spin. Oh. I think it might have worked, but I didn't have it visible. <laughs> ah! I think I'm just dumb, guys. Also, why is my music not playing anymore? Where the... Freaky frack is my music. You're supposed to be playing. Go. Hello? Where is the music? There we go. I just skipped ahead. I don't know. Anyways, uh, let me try spinning it again. Hold on. Everything's freezing on me because my computer can't handle this many things at once, I guess. Close this. Um, let me try and mix it up again. I'm gonna give you a free spin. Hold on. There we go. Now it's working like it should. Oh, I cannot read that. Princess Astarian! I guess I'll put it down here so we can see when it pops up. Like that. Okay. God, that text is so small. You guys are going to have to tell me what it says the next time it redeems, because that is so small, and I can't make the text bigger. Um, can you put it there? Thank you. I got food. Okay. Uh, it'll... There. Okay. Um. Princess Astarian. Pencil here. And we're going to use the pencil brush. Because why not? Uh, what kind of dress do you guys want Princess Astarian to have?
You gotta have a glass of wine because he's a he's a fancy princess who likes his beverages. Princess Peach? You want a starion in a Princess Peach dress? I can do that. Hold on, let me pull up Princess Peach. Let's go. Hello, Peach. That is too small of a reference. There we go, it's beautiful. All right, let's go. Princess Peach Astarian. And then move this, hold on. Collarbone. Okay, we got base. Now, hold on, I also need to pull up a starion. <laughs> I need reference for that perfect hair. I think I'm gonna have to hide my freaking Abby because this. <laughs> My camera is freaking out. My camera cannot handle this. All right. All right. We're not gonna go super detailed on Princess Astarian, but We're gonna try and make him look as fabulous as we can. I could put my PNG tuber, but that also takes up a lot of stuff. If if my VTuber crashes, then I'll switch to my PNG tuber. I still haven't loaded on my Halloween one, so we'll see how that do. No, I have not perfectly memorized Historian's face because I have not drawn him yet. This is <laughs> This is the first time I'm drawing a story in you guys. He's judging us because he has standards. Oh, that mouth is too high. He has standards, so he's turning his snooty little nose down on us because he thinks we're dumb. got high cheekbones. Oh my goodness. Hold on. He got high cheekbones, so he gets that. Oh god, that's so bad. That's so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this is terrible. I'm doing a horrible job. I need to make that bigger. This is dumb. <laughs> I can't draw. And it's possible because I have too many things that I want to draw all at once. And I can't do it because I don't know how to manage my time like a human being. Okay. Let me get Princess Peach on here real quick. So I can get the... Get the... Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to redo that mouth. It's bothering me. His eyes are too far apart. That's why it's bothering me. Let's scooch him in a bit. He 
He's like, what do you mean my wardrobe's not perfect? Of course it's perfect. Shut up. of a sleeve to the poof just so it feels like it fits better you know spend five years on 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 the challenges but i will be posting these on twitter afterwards so you guys can see all the lovely challenges that you redeemed for with the art wheel i guess i could just do a full body since oh blah! I guess I can't do full body and story, and it's fine. Uh, let me finish this one, and then we can make a creature. creature. Riley, do you remember? Do you remember Toby? Do you remember my magical companion? My little child. Now I gotta do his hair so I can put the crown on. He has like a green bunny lion thingy. Yeah. I spell it T-O-B-I. Toby. What 
is your hair, sir? It's beautiful. It's perfect. It's quaffed. And he's got some that goes over his cute little earsies. And then it kind of goes back from there. Oh, and then we can't forget. Hold on. I don't remember. He's perfect. He's Princess Astarian. Everybody live in awe of Princess Astarian. He's gorgeous. Aw, <laughs> uh, thank you. I've had a lot of practice with hair, though. Like, a lot, a lot of practice. Like, um... I, for hair, I, I go into way too much detail for hair sometimes where it takes me like a day just to line hair. So, I mean, for me, it's all about just finding the flow of the hair. I gotta figure out how it falls and like, I, I, I have to feel it. Everything I draw is a vibe. I have to vibe it out. Okay, let's draw us a creature. We'll sketch this one in green, because Toby was green. Let's see. My camera still doesn't like how I lean down. <laughs> Hair is hard. Hair is pretty hard. See if I can... See, Toby, I used... I never gave him a definite, like... A definite appearance, because he was... I always used Mikage from um, Seven, uh, Seven Ghosts to... to like, as his, like, little furry face claim. So, let's do, like... This is, let's just draw him in a cute little pose first. So, he's got, like, a little... A little bunsies up. He's gonna be, like, a little... Little... Kitty-like body. And give him some... Floofy ears is we'll give him some big cutesy eyes. And then he gets a little fluffy mane. And he got a little... And he gets a little... little snoop. And it was like a little... and he had like some little fangies. bigger so you guys can see a bit better. I'm sorry. Give him, give him a little whiskers. Aminals have whiskers. It's okay. Uh, 
And then his little tail was like... He had like that little... Little lion tail like that, I think. Like that, I think? I'm drawing him off memory. It's been a long, long time. But he was Haruko's little magical companion. I don't remember how he came to be. I think it was just that she found him. And she was like, Ruru, can we keep him? And Ruru's like, uh, yeah, I mean, if you take care of him. Because Chihara was the responsible twin. Like, he, he, he was the cutesy fun one, but, like, he was also the more responsible one. Haruko was well known for only being good at fighting monsters. That was her thing. And Toby didn't help matters. He liked to get in trouble, too. Yeah, this is some really old Hanako lore. Um, I think they did a pretty good job. I think that kind of looks like Toby. I mean, I don't think Toby's ears went up, up, but I think that's cute, so that's okay. I think he's cute. And he could turn in... <laughs> I remember I had a little series where I would redraw uh, Yotsuba comics for him. <laughs> Because he was always curious about everything. But there we go. There's Toby. We're going to make you a little smaller. We're going to come tuck you over here by Princess Astarian. You're going to come hang out and protect Princess Astarian, okay? He. There. He protect. Hi, honey! Welcome! Ani, do you like my Princess Astarian? He's dressed as Princess Peach. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta save. Make sure we save this. Um, art stream. That way I don't lose any of this if my computer suddenly decides to crash. Okay. Now back to the big piece of work we're working on between Art Wheel. So you guys can see <laughs> me just welcome to the mimic manor. Come to daddy. You guys can see a bit better. The mimic manor. <laughs> okay. Turn the opacity back down here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> My model's gonna kind of break a lot because it's not used to me looking down like this. But it's just the life we live today. I don't have any set course for when I draw. It's mostly just I kind of, kind of just roam. <laughs> I go where I vibe.
¿no? Also, let me know if the music is too low and if you want me to turn it up or if it's good. It's because you guys are hanging out with me. I want to make sure you're cozy here in the Mimic Manor. Even if the chair licks your leg. Give me one second. I do have to. I forgot to close my door before stream. One second. which I might need to eat soon, but we'll see how it goes. So I am streaming a lot earlier than usual. Um, where I need my fan this way. Okay, or it'll go the other way first. Fan. Blow in my direction, poor favor. Beautiful, thank you. Whoopsies. Fine, I'll just clean this one up. work.
I'm so picky about my lines and I'm very sorry. <laughs> You're gonna see a lot of undo. Yay, Astro Luna Raid! Yay, wel welcome! <laughs> Aw, li li listen! I want to listen to Sweeney Todd too if I wouldn't get copyright struck. I've been singing... <laughs> I've been singing Dragon Age Bard songs all day. <laughs> I even got the lyrics pulled up on my computer. Wait, that's the part that I want to do. Yeah, I want to do this on another layer. The shrimp. Do that with the symmetry tool. doing it like this. Let's try doing like I'm drawing the arms. close to my tablet. <laughs> he just backed the fuck up. I almost had my nose to the screen. It does not make for good model. to make this look better. Um, Harley, baby, is everything okay? Hey. I'm just gonna define this a little more. Benjamin! 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 
Benjamin, can you stop that net racket, please? Benjamin! Thank you! Benjamin's always yelling at something. Okay, I think that looks better. I mean, I could also do like a little pad on here. Not that you'd see it under my beautiful thick leg, but you know. The little comforts. Um. Blech. Okay. Let's work with that. I'll just like erase it later <laughs> when I don't need the lines. I always create excess work for myself.
Also, if you guys want to see any particular thing drawn, like, oh, <laughs> I need to keep looking up and checking on chat. Um, thank you. I practiced a long time on hands. Um, there was a lot of, like, me, like, studying hands. Like, here, I'll show you. Um, so, like, hands, it's all about Everything's about shapes. It's about building on shapes. Um, and hands are no different. So, like, for hands, I always try to think of it in, in like, a... I don't know. I guess kind of, like, in the rough draft, like, 3D perspective when, like, they're animating something 3D and everything's still, like, blocky. So, like... That's, like, the tip of your hand where, like, your fingies stick out, right? Or, um, hold on, let me actually do this on a new layer so I don't accidentally delete Toby. So, whenever I draw hands, I'll basically, like, I'll do a rectangle, but I'll add this little divot to the side here for, like, where I want the thumb to stick out, because the thumb is always just kind of out there. Um... And then depending on the angle, I'll change it up. So, like, if I want it more, like, on this side, I'll add a reminder of, like, the curve. So, like, the side of your palm, like, how it curves. And then you can block it from there. And then the hands are always so... I have a habit of only doing two like two portions to a finger um i'm trying to be better about doing like the three like the two knuckles on the fingies and then up here but like you can just like you just draw like the little sections you can always do that i did that for a long time or if i get stuck with like how to draw a particular pose so it's always like the base portion and then and there's your finger and then if you want to add a fingy nail on it you just pull a little circle at the tippy tip i also went through a phase in in my drawing where i would draw hands like like this all the time because i liked i liked playing with the fingers So I got into a phase where I drew hands like this all the time. It was always like that. Rawr, I'm my spooky, scary hand. <laughs> and zoom in a little more so you guys can see. Oh, if I keep the canvas on it, that would help. Ooga booga, scary hands. Um, But yeah, so it's just kind of like about figuring out the way you want the hand to be. So like... I don't know why I drew that. Um, like a flat hand. This would be like the, the back of your hand. And then like your palm facing down. And there's like where your fingies go. <gasps> Aster redeeming the wheel. What are we doing? <gasps> something. Something magical, girl. Something magical, girl. I mean, I could draw something magical, girl, or do you want- Which twin do you want me to draw, Aster? Which twin? Which of our twins do you want me to draw? <laughs> As I take a sippy. I- ah, I was just taking a sippy, though! I'll take another sippy. Hold on, and then- I mean, if you don't mind them not being super detailed, I will draw both of them. You guys get double trouble only because Aster asked, and I love Aster. Um, okay, we're gonna draw them in pink. We'll do like a dark pink red. Okay. Okay, we're gonna draw them like.
I know it's gonna be something magical, girl, but it's gonna also be a very base pose, so... Draw classic Haruko and Ruru activities. Sorry, Ruru, I gotta clean up your face real quick. <laughs> I, I've definitely come a long way, but honestly, B, I would have never come even remotely this far if, if, if I had never learned from you. You got me started on the path that led me here. And that's how we became frenzies. traded each other a passion and we both ran with it and carried each other and it's my favorite thing okay <clears throat> let's see Now, we did say something magical, so they'll probably be in their magical outfits. Okay. I think that's a good base. Okay. Let me pull up the old, 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 old reference sheet that I have for these two. Let me see. Um, pictures. 
econ haruko uh this folder and here we go load it up in here can i will you let me open it in a chrome document instead Plunk. there we go all right reference material obtained let me well we'll give them some some line lines you know but it's okay I think it's so perfect that when you spun the wheel, Aster, that it landed on something magical. Because, honestly, we spent so many years with these kids. We did so much with them. It was meant to be. <laughs> So anyone who isn't aware of this time of my life, which is probably majority of chat, Haruko and Chiharu Momoyama are a pair of magical twinsies that Aster and I made a long time ago. Back on the days of role-playing on Tumblr. Uh oh, here we go. Let me just save real quick. And, um... They went through lots of changes. Chiharu ended up with, um, with a counterpart <laughs> that liked to tease Haruko because he didn't like her. Because <laughs> he was a, he was a ball of negativity that spawned from, from, what was it? It was like, from, from just Chiharu's negativity, kind of. Because it's harder for boys to control their magical power than it is for girls in our lore. Um, and so it kind of like flared up and acted out and somehow Crow came to be and Crow is a mean evil beanie. But it also provided a lot of comic relief because he eventually came around. He didn't like it, but he came around. <laughs> um, but Haruko cannot cook to save her life. And so Ruru... <laughs> Being the response, yeah, the original Scottamoosh, really, he he really do be like that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but um, oh, what was it? Um, Ruru being the more responsible of the two knuckleheads, um, he he forbids Haruko from going into the kitchen unsupervised. And I mean unsupervised. She has to be watched like a hawk. She will burn the kitchen down trying to boil water. She is, she she's she's that person who is like, oh, like bake it three fifty for like fifteen minutes. So if I do it at four hundred and seventy thousand degrees for like three seconds, right? <laughs> she's one of those people, which you know hurts my soul as someone who actually cooks. But okay. Ruru, your chin is making me sad. There we go. That's better. There's Ruru's chin. And Haruko has a cute little romance line of, of ending up with her childhood friend, Kai. Which was another one of Riley's character, or another one of Aster's characters. Mixing up all my stuff here. Um, <clears throat> Ruru is a bow user. He likes to use bows and arrows. And um, his melee was 
his fist, wasn't it, Aster? Oh, and chakrams, yeah. Which is fantastic. Chakrams are good. I only have, I, I'm sorry if I don't have the most up-to-date reference for what you had for Ruru. Um, this is just going off of the old magical outfits that you had sketched out to clean up our, our designs so long ago. <laughs> I love all your designs though. Haruko's outfit only looks as cute as it does in in the end because of you and your adorable designs. But um, in the lore of these kids and their magical abilities, um, so they would fight seeds of disaster, which are little, little seeds that sit and collect negativity and bad emotions from just the people in the world as they're going through their daily lives and struggling to survive. And when enough of that negativity would collect, um, it would explode and cause a miasma, which would then corrupt the flora and fauna around and turn things into monsters. Um, and so Haruko and Ruru would then go out and they would fight those monsters and then find the seed and then cleanse it. Oh no! Come back, Astor! Don't leave me! Ruru! Come back, Ruru! I need you! Oh, no, I didn't need to do that. That was Haruko's cheek, not Ruru's. Okay. the classic storyline of living alone together because it was like part of their training was they had to learn how to um how to like juggle their responsibilities as a magical kids and um it was a really dumb idea that we came up with I think it was just mostly me um and we ended up scrapping it later um, in favor of like saying that when Haruko and Chiharu were older and they became mentors for the next generation of like the magical kids in their era, um, Haruko would, uh, would teach them, like she would have her own dojo. Um, Ruru had a smart job. He had a smart one. I don't 
what was what was his end goal job again? I think it was he was researching the miasma or something. He he Ruby was always the smart one, so he had the smart job. Haruko Haruko has always had kind of some low confidence because all she's ever been good at is PE and fighting monsters. <laughs> I said I was gonna do them like really low quality and here I am putting all my effort in because I love my children. <laughs> tonight we're happy to have you oh um not all that long ago if the wheels back up then at least five minutes aster did a redeem and request and, and it ended up on something magical so i'm drawing i'm drawing our kids from way back when this is one of my old ocs and one of aster's ocs scribbler so I, I draw pretty quickly um, but I've also had a lot of practice I've been drawing for a really long time so that's why I always encourage everyone to draw if you wanna like it doesn't matter how good or bad you think you are because the more you draw the better you get Haruko's got some double glove action going on. Drawing her first is easier because then I got Ruru on the bottom layer. redeem oh no i'm not done yet <laughs> uh save the villainess from memory okay cool next i get to try drawing save the villainess the characters from memory which hopefully should be easy since i recently played the 
the demo with them. I, I haven't even finished. I have to go back and play more of the demo. Which, BT dubs, y'all, I'm really excited to eventually play that on stream with everybody. Um, the writing is really funny, and um, there's a lot going on. Well, see, I set a timer for... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I set a timer for um for the art wheel where it's supposed to only be able to be redeemed like every five minutes because the original intent was I was only gonna spend a few minutes on each drawing for the wheel. Um so that way I could make progress on the big piece, but um it's it's not going in that direction because uh, Haruko and Ruru became a subject and I have to do them justice because I love my children. Okay, now we can do a little, we can do a little bit of Ruru. Let me just get that in there. Okay, we're going to save. Let's get a little bit more Ruru in here. Let me pull up Ruru again. Or should I say, let me just click on my reference layer again. Okay. Ruru had like... I miss drawing these two. I need to draw them more again. Oh, I have not streamed the demo of Save the Villainess yet because it's still in the beta. So the demo's not public yet. Um, what they did is um, they let me they let me see the demo. So like they kind of played it and I, I, I watched and dictated and stuff. Um, but once there is a public demo out, I will be playing it because I very much want to. Um... Because the game is really good. I guess I didn't have to draw too like the bow and stuff, but it's fine. Um, but the demo is really good. It's it's really funny. You can die in the tutorial, <laughs> which I think is fun. Yeah, I did get a little bit of a VIP access, which I honestly, I'm super tickled about. Um, but both the, the devs working on the game, they're both fantastical people, and they're really funny. Um, and I love them to bits. Wait, is it the... Okay, hold on. It's this, and then like that. Because Ruru's gloves are a little weird. I'm gonna put some nails on you. Um, but I did get to see my favorite, the they, them, Servant, or Servant the Servant, who does have a name, but we don't know what it is, so we call them Servant. And he insulted me and complimented me both in the demo, and I was very pleased. Uh, but maybe I will draw uh, Ben, because it is Ben's birthday week. So I'll try to draw him from memory. That hand is too thick. Hold on, let me do it like this. Oh, thank you. I love these two with all my heart. Honestly, I I wish I was drawing them more often. Haruko and Chiharu went through a lot in their story and in their development and stuff. And I love them to bits. And I will never, ever, ever forget them. Even if the more minute details escape me. <laughs> okay. Let me clean up 
this a little bit here. That way we can see Ruru's hand when we put everything back to opacity. There we go. Okay, let me put that down there. Okay. Now, um, this part, let me just do like that. Okay. was kind of like there's one more buckle like this and then it went like that And then he also had a little bit of transparent stuffies here. I'm gonna turn the opacity down on that. Okay. Oh, um, I do have a reference that I'm using. It's really old, but here, let me paste it in here so you guys can see. Let me zoom out. It's a very old reference that, that Aster drew once a long time ago. Um, let me put it over here. Well, here, I'll just like this first so you guys can see. So, so this is Haruko on the left with all the skirt and frills and everything. And then on the right, yes, I told you it's the old reference. <laughs> And then on the right, with his cute little, little bow and his little, little vest, is is her twin brother, Chiharu. So that's Haruka and Riru. The bestest magical twins you ever did see. Right now we're working on Ruru, so let's just put him in the corner here. That way I can see his cute little noodle. Yes, Haruko and Ruru are twins. Ruru's the smart one and Haruko's the dumb one. But yes, that is that is right the references are Riley's art or As Aster's art. I am sorry. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> um I I I miss I miss Aster's art. I love Aster's art with a fiery passion. So when Aster was drawing a cute little the little so the little character up in the corner up in the cage there, if you see them up there just snoozing away, that cute little little bun. That's Aster. That's the one who drew it. <laughs> I love them. I love them with all my heart and soul. Oops. Uh, yes, eraser. That's what I wanted. Aster is one of my most favoriteest people in the world, so 
anytime that you guys hang out in chat and, and in streams and stuff, you'll likely hear me talking about Aster. Aster's my bestest buddy. I mean, I have a bunch of bestest buddies, but I, I'm... My my other besties all know that I am I am biased and I do not apologize for the fact that I love Aster. Let's actually do this right here. There we go. That's better. It's Chiruru. little belt buckle that Ruru had. <laughs> I make after blush. Aster is also the only one who can make me play Genshin. <laughs> <laughs> um, very often I go through bits of life where I refuse to play Genshin for months at a time because the game hates me and I hate it and we understand that we hate each other. Um, and then... <laughs> of course you're playing it right now. I love that. But then Aster will be like... Hey, check out these characters that are coming out and like like send me pictures or they'll talk to me about like some some stuff that they they know I'll be interested in. Um and then eventually I end up playing again just for a little while, but it's only ever fun when I'm playing with friends anyways, so <laughs> it works out. And then now we just do. Just gonna be lazy about the frills and stuff, so don't worry about it too much. We're just gonna throw some random little squiggles in here and pretend that it's proper floof for the dress, for the petticoat, as they call it. played Genshin since Inazuma and I kind of want to go I I went back because they brought in daddy <laughs> like I am perfectly honest I came back for warden daddy um I don't know how to say his name even though even though Aster said it to me like a bajillion times but I call him daddy um yeah that guy <laughs> But yeah, I, I got him on my first poll because Genshin was like, all right, I guess I could be nice to you. Um, but I got him on my first poll. And then with Aster's help, I was able to get him all the way up to 90. I, I burned through that like real fast. Oops, um, okay, let's do... Yep, now the slow grind for his talents, which tomorrow we need to do um, a, the, a pep fight and all of our usual weekly stuffs.
which I would never keep up with or do if it wasn't for the fact that <laughs> that Aster keeps me on on track. <clears throat> The slight cowboy boot shape to Haruko's boots. bit of a heel on his boots if you look it's just just a very small one Haruko has very small lift in her heels because she can't be trusted to be coordinated with them any higher than that um but Ruru Ruru does have a little bit of a lift in his boots actually let me do little line in there for her gloves because she's oops she's reaching on both sides um oh but fun fact about ruru though um ruru is a trans magical boy and he is very 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 strong he's a very strong magical boy he is a he is a good good baby boy. Yeah, he a very short boy. But he's he's a good boy and Haruko would destroy the world for her brother. She loves him so much. Do this. And then He is cute. He's the cutest patoot. And and they both love each other very much. They're very, very close siblings. And they care very much about each other's well-being. And they communicate very well with each other. And they're just a couple of good kids. Just trying to do their ding dang dist best. how detailed you went with your little boots I mean, your little shoesy woozies brew has got some nice kicks the fence about but I liked that detail I thought that was really cute I thought it was I mean it it fits him very well I feel but e either way no matter how it ended up going I mean 
<laughs> Ruru is Ruru. Ruru is the bestest bean. He's the smartest magical boy you ever did know. He's super smart and he's funny and he's cute and he's a lot of fun to be around. And um and I love him lots because he's my brother. tail of his coat in the back here with a little bit of the transparent piece oh i forgot how to close bow how could i hold on okay since it's also a floofy transparent we're gonna do it right here beans you ever will know. Add a cute little hold on. I think I'm gonna add a little. There we go. Now they're perfect. My favorite is twinsies ever. Yay! I save. Um, I will still draw the other thing when I get back for the art wheel. Give me one second. I do have to run to the bathroom though, so I'll be right back.
babies. What's up, babies? What's up, babies? Okay. Wah. Okay. Oh, okay, B. Have fun. I'm late, but have fun. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, actually, I'm gonna, real quick, real quick, just cause I really like how this turned out. I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna copy and create new from clipboard. <laughs> that kinda, I wanna color that later. <laughs> Hi, Yuzu! Yuzu, welcome, welcome to the Mimic Manor, hello! Look who I drew! I drew Haruko and Ruru! <laughs> I'm gonna put these in a folder too so I don't lose them. Okay, also for those of you who missed the earlier ones, we had Princess Astarian first, so uh, as per request, we drew him as Princess Peach. Uh, and then we had a little creature to draw. So I drew a little, a little creature friend. Um, but now, let's move the twinsies. Let's I'm move our... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think I think I think Princess Astarian's gonna have to be posted separately later. I'm gonna include all of these on a tweet later once we're done on the stream, but I feel like Princess Astarian, I'm gonna post him separately because the world needs to see Peach Starian. I think it's very important. Um, but okay, now we're gonna draw Ben from Save the Villainess, because that was the last spin on the wheel was for Ben. Or was for draw save the villainess from memory. So I can't look up at any reference. Um, it's his birthday week. So I'm trying to. Hopefully I can do him some justice. We're not going to do him too big. I was going to draw chibis. But because it's his birthday. I'm going to try and draw a little bit bigger. I'm going to draw a not so chibi. Let's just do... I know I keep doing this kind of pose a lot, but um, for Ben, it's necessary because he's got the big honkadonks and he's got the collarbones and the biceps. So we have to emphasize the honkadonks. Okay, so we got emphasize the honkadonks, okay? Got to emphasize that because he, he's a big... A big, beefy, gorgeous man. Got, gotta have the collarbone in there. Actually, they posted a video today <laughs> featuring one of my artworks of him where I did a Kabed one series for each of the, the Save the Villainess cast. Um, actually, let's do a, a cliche hand behind the head situation, because why the fuck not? Like this. Let me clean that up a little so it makes more sense later. But I drew a series of Kabedons for Save the Villainess, and um, for Ben's birthday week, they <laughs> they did a little video where Ben got to look at and comment on the artwork. Um, and Jane was there too, which is the main character, the Villainess, so to speak. Um, and she is like, she's like, who thought you could be so dangerous? And he's like, what? <laughs> And she's just like, she's like, look at those beautiful biceps and those, that exposed collarbone. What am I supposed to do? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go a bit of a, a sexy and a know it pose. Just, just a little bit. Okay, we're just gonna do, 
Just a little bit. We're not gonna go too, too much on, on the detail. Otherwise, we're gonna be here forever. So... That's a good base. We're gonna start with that. And now... Well, let me make the base a little bit bigger. We're just gonna make it a little bit bigger. And that way, I can always shrink it down later. Okay. Um, let's see if I can remember what he looks like, aside from his collarbone and his biceps. I know his eyes are two different colors. Not like, kind of, well, I don't know if you would call it heterochromia. Uh, oh, okay, Ane, have a good shower. Um, but Ben is the childhood friend character. I'm making him a bit more, more arrogant in the face than he needs to be, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oops, that looks weird. I don't like that. Let's just start here. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Sir, your face is too flat. It's too squished. I need to lengthen that out. Let me just... Like that. And now I can go in and do... Like this. And now it'll look better. You can also fix your eyeball. I don't like that one. I don't like that eye, sir. Change it. A little better that's fine we're just doing some 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 basic sketches because eventually we'll get back to the actual artwork at hand here okay so now we got this and let me get his yeah there we go okay so his thing is that his shirt can't like button up because it can't contain these glorious collarbones and biceps so we're gonna just give him a bit of a boob window just just some boobage okay i <laughs> i feel like someone needs to go tell tanya and emily i'm drawing the birthday boy i forgot to tell them that i added save the villainess from memory <laughs> to the wheel. <laughs> just add something there. And then uh, he has a vest. Which I'm amazed the vest can stay on. Like this. Okay. Is it his pant pantaloons? Don't worry about it. Okay. Um and then like this. And I think it's like this. It's like this top part is a solid color, I think. No, wait, hold on. Uh I drew him recently, you would think I'd remember! <laughs> It was like, like this. Yeah, that looks more correct. You gotta show off as much of the of the tibby as possible. It's delicious. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Yeah, eat them up. Yeah, that's good. That's some good tibbies. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
video. Uh... <laughs> oh, I should have added Touch Star from memory on here. Can you imagine me trying to remember Leander's tibbies? Try not to go feral while I'm drawing. I'm ashamed of myself for not adding Touch Starved on here. Oh well, maybe next time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I would perish with you. It's okay. We both perish under Leander's tibbies. It's the right way to go. <laughs> okay. Now the hard part. I have to remember how his hair. Wait, I need to finish his hand down here. Hold on. Let me just. There. Okay. Um, What does his hair look like? Also, I need to eat my food, too. <laughs> That's fine. We'll get there eventually. Um, I think it was, like, kind of in his face a bit. Kind of. But it was, like, layered. I remember he has green underneath. Because I call him Fresh Cut Grass. <laughs> like, I think like this. I'm trying from memory. I'm really trying. And like under the undertones here would be like green. Like a bright green, but I, I don't want to go in detail the color, but I might do it later. I don't know. We'll see. It's kind of like, wow, he really looks like a playboy. <laughs> He's supposed to be the childhood friend. I'm sorry, Ben. This is just... Apparently how you look in my mind's eye. And then like, this part is green here. This part's green. That's green. Cause it's, it, it's fresh cut grass. That's what he smells like. He smells like fresh cut grass. Happy birthday, fresh cut grass. <laughs> Very precisely reproduced. <laughs> oh, I need to draw his other arm. Now I'm gonna just put a little leaf in his hair. Some leaves. He gets some leaves in his hair because he was he is rolling around in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, save the villainess. I drew Ben. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think that's Ben. You can't really tell because I didn't put any shades, but it's fine. Nah, he's just a dude. <laughs> he's just a guy. He's just a dude guy. <laughs> he's a human. <laughs> While we, while we bask on this for a second, I'm gonna open my salad. Hold on. Dude, who happens to, He smells like fresh cut grass! Listen! Okay, hold on. Let me get a picture of him to put in here so we can see how close I was. Hold on. Uh, pictures. Uh, save the villainess. Where's my reference picture for Ben? There he is. This one. Copy. Okay. Oops. Wait. Ah. I think I got pretty close. Hold on. Oh, I forgot the thingies on his... I forgot the on it. I'm not gonna go and change it because I, di I did it. I'm not changing it now that I'm done. 
But I did miss the the little on his lapel the the sides of his and his pocket watch, and I did the buttons wrong. But I think I did pretty good from memory, having only drawn him once, even if it took me like three days to draw the picture. <laughs> Do you guys want to see the one that I did for for the picture? Do you want to see the Kabedon I drew? Sorry, I'm also multitasking and getting my salad, so... Oh, they didn't give me a fork! I need a fork! I can't eat my salad without a fork! Okay. Oh, ah! Excuse me, sorry, I'm knocking things over. Um, let me open... Okay, go away, Ben. Go away, Ben! Thank you. Open. Uh, where is Save the Villainess? There we go. There's Ben. I drew him. <laughs> <coughs> Bask on that for a hot second while I go get a fork. right at you he is flirting with you he's looking at you he wants to kiss your face or murder you he might murder you that's kind of a premise of the game he might be the murder murder baby but we don't know we have to figure it out uh if he's just a normal guy uh I'm, I, I don't know I guess it's something that we will find out in the game I just, <laughs> they had like a week where they were doing like introductions for each of their characters and you could ask questions and they'd reply like sometimes like with a video or TikTok or whatever for like the character responding. And so when it came to Ben's week, I asked him, sir, do you, does your hair smell of fresh cut grass? And he was like, the fuck? <laughs> He's like, what kind of fucking shampoo do you use? Like fresh cut grass? <laughs> so... Um, I, I, he's the first one that I've given a nickname to, and I kind of want to nickname all of them. Uh, give me one second, I gotta check my mana levels. Just real quick. I haven't done this on stream in a while, but I gotta check my mana level real quick. What's my mana level? Okay, 113. Mana level is fine. Oh, another wheel spin! What's up? What are we drawing now? Ooh, something Furuba! Wow, okay, I'm getting a lot of nostalgia points today. All right. Um, do you know a Fruits Basket? Do you want to request a specific character? Or should I pick something at random? My Furuba. Oh my gosh, I haven't thought about Fruits Basket in so long. Barely aware of it. Okay. Um, Yuzu, why don't you pick a Furuba character for me to draw then? As I'm kind of sort of eating my dinner. I haven't read it in years and didn't watch the anime. Aww. Um. Then pick a zodiac sign. Or just pick main character. <laughs> I'm also trying to eat at the same time. Okay. Alright, so we're drawing Hiro. Let me just... Now, this one isn't a from memory situation, so... Don't worry, I got you. Let me draw... You might remember as we're going back. Yes, Hiro is a kid. 
<laughs> he is the snotty little brat. <laughs> I love him. Okay. There's the reference picture. Let me... Let's move Ben. Okay. We're gonna move Ben. We're gonna move him up over here. Give him a juice box because he's a kid. Or, I mean, I guess it could be a carton of milk because that's a thing that. <laughs> that's a thing kids drink a lot in, in these kinds of anime. Fruits Basket makes me very emotional. The The new series that they did, the, the reboot, I haven't finished it, but season, like, the, the first, first part of it, the first half made me very emotional. Nom, 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 nom. Oh my god. Fruits Basket, like, changed my life when I was a kid. It... It, it has a lot of, of emotional, like, points and a lot of healing. Like, these kids have gone through so much because of the curse and stuff. Um, and honestly, like, they say a lot of, like, oh, yeah, Toru healed everybody and helped them, like, over the course of the series because that's what the protagonist does. But honestly... Like, she healed just as much with their help as anything. And it was a beautiful series. And I love all of the characters very much. Um, there's a sequel series that's a, just a couple of manga long called Fruits Basket Another. And that one I, I loved. I, I was a little worried about going through it. Um, because Fruits Basket Another is about the next generation of kids. Um, but it was so good. It was so good. And you, like, you learn, like, who paired up and who had kids and, um, like, who, like, what they did afterwards and stuff. They canonize and sink everyone's ships. <laughs> listen. Okay, listen. Like mild spoilers i guess for endgame ship uh in terms of just the original series okay i won't say no one's spoiler for astral and luna but i will say that the the canon ship in fruits basket for toru and the male lead that she ends up with was not originally the the end goal 
That was not originally the end ship. It changed because of popularity. And I'm a little sad. <laughs> I like the kitty with the mouse. Oh, Kyo and Yuki. I love them. Let's just say, while they fought a lot, their kids are best friends. <laughs> Which I was very, I was very happy to meet their kids. Um, you find out that Kyo has a lot of kids. Like, he has a lot. I think he has... He has, like, four kids? I think? Yeah, Kyo's the cat. He has, he has, he has, I think, four kids? But you really only meet the oldest one. Um, he's, he's the main one that you see. His name is Hajime. And I love him. He's my favorite. Yeah, all with the same person. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then Yuki. Yuki's son. His name is Mutsuki. Um, and <laughs> Mutsuki's a little shit. He's so great. I, I think it was four. I literally, I could get up and go check. I have the books right there, but I know that they have at least, at least three? At the very least, I think it's four. I don't remember, don't quote me on that, but I do know that uh, Mutsuki and Hajime are, are Yuki and Kyo's oldest kids. Yuki only has Mutsuki. He's only got Mutsuki. Um, I need to actually pay attention to drawing Hiro. My snooty little sheep boy. I love Fruits Basket. Oh my god, I really need to go back and rewatch the, the new series. Honestly, the original is really good, but the reboot, like the reboot they did... I had a coworker who really liked Fruits Basket and she refused to watch it, which made me a sad because I wanted someone to talk to about it. But um luckily I ended up having my friend Rue who talked to me about it, which was fun. But um uh freaking I'm taking way too long on this. Um the way they handled the the reboot was actually really good. Um, they added in some scenes that really helped, like, like explain the mood and like the the like tension or the real. They really conveyed the emotions, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So they did a really good job with all the emotions, um, and just the fact that majority of the voice cast came back, like absolutely blew my mind i was so emotional just to hear everybody's english voices again like oh my gosh um there are a few characters that are different but that i mean that's to be expected oh my model's freezing because <laughs> i keep dipping out of camera view i'm sorry <laughs> i'm not trying to Um, but honestly, oh my god, I, I, I want to go back and rewatch it. I love Fruits Basket. Yes. And the art is so cute. Oh my gosh. Like, a lot of people complain because the art ended up being like the really like cliche, like, really round um eyes like for like everything was like really round and fluffy and soft and stuff oh good night esquire um but like a lot of people complained about how the art changed but i thought it was fine because it's like like the manga has like such a specific style to the art that was like really good for the manga um and then changing it for the anime i think is fine because it's like it's targeting a different audience like you can you can target a different crew it's okay it's not the end of the world if the art is a little bit different it's it's just what the studio does like it's fine i thought the art was cute i didn't have a problem with it um i mean 
mean, the the most important thing is just making sure that the characters are correct, like written correctly and portrayed correctly. Like that's the important part to me. Cause that story, that story carried me through a lot when I was younger. And now the easy part, the clothes. <coughs> um, but I I love the series and honestly, anyone who hasn't seen it, I do highly recommend it. It's it's so good. It, it is one of my all-time favorites, and honestly, I, I, I think I am going to go back to watching it tonight when I'm done with stream. I do need something new to watch. Um, you know, do you tuck your shirt in like a, like a good boy, or... I guess we can go with this old outfit. Let's go with this one. Where he's got like a little belt on. And then he's got like a little wristband. Hold my juice box. I'm gonna beat up some kids. This little little shit. Who's my favorite character? Oh, Toru. Toru. It, it has to be Toru. The sweetest baby angel of them all. The main character. The girl who carries the weight of the world on her shoulders. She's such a sweet angel. We don't deserve her. I love her so much. If I had to pick one of the Zodiac. Hmm. I don't know. I'm always torn between Yuki and Kyo because it's like, you know, those are the two, the two main boys. But, um, I also like Hataharu. Hatsuharu is a lot like Luna, in terms of the fact that they get lost everywhere. <laughs> um. I can't see his feet, so I'm just going to assume he has socks on. And we're just going to give him some dumb loafers because, again, I can't see his shoes right now. So I'm just going to kind of guess. Like that. I'm spending a lot more time on the art wheel than on anything else, but I think it's okay because I think it's more fun because you guys are directing what I draw. He 
Zero. Yay! We did it. <laughs> Oh, no, you can spin as many times as you want. The whole point of having the art wheel here is so that way you guys can can change up what I'm drawing if you want. That's the whole point of it being there. So please feel free to spin it as much as you want. Like, this is literally just for in between. Like, this is just for, like, when you guys aren't spinning the wheel, then I work on this. So that way I have something to do if nobody wants to spin. Because I'll work on this later after stream, too. <laughs> All right, set. Let's go. What do we got? <gasps> Quaha! We're going to draw Quaha! Quaha! Ah! The bestest cat boy who ever did cat! Hold on. I can draw Graha from memory! I just gotta get a base down first for the pose. I always draw him smiling! Oh, can I give him taco though? Mm, I could draw him with taco. Hold on. I will hide that layer. We'll go back to that if Graha gets pulled again. Yeah, well, this is how I draw the heads. You know, you start with a circle because that's the top of the noodle. And then you give yourself a bit of a face here. And that's the shape of the head. And then normally if they have human ears, you can throw the human ears right here. But it's fine. It helps me get the shape of the noodle. We're going to go with some classic cat ears. Because he's very much like, ooh, taco. I always draw him with ears too big, but whatever. I like it. I think it's cute. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's gonna be like, ooh, taco. He's a taco. He's a taco. Taco. He has the taco. And as usual, there's stuff falling out of the taco because <laughs> Graha can't eat anything cleanly. He's trying to keep it in though. He's trying to keep the taco together. No, it's like... It's just how I do the eyes. Hold on. I know he's not supposed to have pronounced fangies, but he has fangies. Because I like the fangies. He's a kitty. Munyo.
We're just gonna get a rough sketch down. Hold on. <laughs> Graha has a custom model because he is the cutest patoot. Twitter profile. <laughs> oh, listen. I've drawn Graha a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I draw him a lot. I think about him a lot. I think I need to do some PNG cutouts of Graha's head to throw into the Yeet Starion so it just throws my favorite boys. Oh, my fictional boyfriends. Okay. He also deserves the crisp lines, so. Let's just zoom in here. We're gonna, we're gonna give Graha some crisp lines. Now, we're not going to give him his usual eyes because he fanboys over everything. And when he saw that taco, he was like, bro, tacos. <laughs> so he gives the sparkle eyes. Hold on. I'm going to do that better. Let me first get the shape down.
He's like, I'm gonna have that taco. It's so good. Look at that taco. I can in Sylvain. <laughs> I believe it. I haven't played three houses in so long, but I believe it. Oh, let me not forget his little Makote marks. There we go. Now, normally I do clean up the eyebrows because I don't like the eyebrows through the hair thing, but it's fine. Oh, he visited your lighthouse, did he? How delightful. Do tacos exist in Fire Emblem? I mean, you know, I'm sure if tacos don't exist as tacos, they probably exist in some capacity. But Sylvain probably also just makes that face when he gets really excited. Final Fantasy so I can also randomly just draw some of my Warriors of Light. Because I have a lot of characters. And I can tell you about each of them as I draw them. But for now it's okay because this is Graha's moment. And Guahatia deserves all of our love and affection. Because he love and affections us. Punchy bunny, yeah. My punchy bun. Um, I have a lot. My main one is Yukika, um, who is an Aura, who would be the villain of the story if it weren't for the fact that she loves her wife a lot. Uh, her wife being one of one of Aster's characters. <laughs> um And she's my my uh, my goddess of war. I I have all of the all of the classes on her. She's not so much a, a jack of all trades as she is just a destructive force of nature. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, uh, funny you say that, the god slayer. I have a video of her being slayed by a god. <laughs> so one of the newest raids that they've done in the game is you can go fight the 12s. And Yukiko was like, 
Ah, oh, fuck yeah, I'm gonna punch God in the face. Let's go. Um, and one of them is, uh, yes, I have been, I have been emoting to the Sea Queen. I have. It was the first time I got it to work, and I was in a bad spot, so when she yeeted me to then attack me, um, she shoved me into the water, so I got a debuff from touching the water, and then she just like, she's like, bitch, I'll finish you off. <laughs> I was like, worth it! <laughs> My queen! And I have it on video! In my defense, the healer was the one who taught me how to do it. <laughs> the healer was like, you gotta do it when you're auto when she's auto-attacking, and I was like, oh hell yeah, alright, let's go. And now we do. Oh, you have a stream idea? What's the stream idea, my dear? Please share my loves. but with some of our OCs in the random scenario games. Ah, yeah! What's up? D&D &D one shots. Listen, there is one audio from TikTok that I think of of us playing D&D &D together, and I'm just saying I very much want to make it an animatic if we do ever play D&D &D together. I think playing D&D &D with, with the two of you would be fantabulastic. Um, I absolutely choose the most dedicated girl. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I have a folder of references when I need it, but that's only when I want to make sure I'm super duper accurate. If I'm not too concerned about exact accuracy, then it's okay, but... It really just depends on, on the piece. Okay, gotta get that taco in there now. Get the cheese.
<coughs> free taco for Garaha, free drinks for Uriyanji. Yeah, honestly, they must be staying somewhere nice. He gotta get his free taco. And I gotta draw the bits falling out of it. Hold on. <laughs> what is the next drawing? A mimic! Aha! What kind of mimic should I draw? What What do you guys think it should be? What should it impersonate? Because you guys saw my jackal mimics, and then in my other picture, I got a mimic chair, I got a mimic candelabra. Aster, what, what mimic would you like to see for your, your wheel spin? Pick an item, any item. <laughs> Take your time. I'm still drawing Graha. Oh, hold on. Let me check. It is a three-hour thing, but there is a playlist, so it should keep going. Oh, well, I guess it decided it didn't want to keep going. Let me pop over to the next one. Okay. There we go. Next song is up. It's all a playlist by the same person, too, so you guys can, can check them out on on YouTube. I'm playing Hangman on Cross Code. <laughs> Honestly, kind of. On his scurf. If you can't decide on a mimic, um, you can always pass it and someone else can can pick something if they want. Otherwise, I'll just draw whatever. Okay, who wants to pick something to draw for a mimic? <laughs> yeah, Aster's like, I didn't think I was going to be put on the spot here. box mimic that waits in hiding to ambush poor cats <laughs> all right those poor meow meows man 
Oh, hold on. I did forget one tiny important detail. His tail. There we go. Oh, wait. Okay. There's Graha and his taco. Tacos for Graha. Graha Tia gets all the tacos. Aster, on a scale of one to Graha, how Graha is my Graha? <laughs> <laughs> the bestest cat who ever did cat boy meow meow okay saving that for later for if okay let me do this we're gonna put that into the finished folder Okay, let's put Graha over here. He's gonna he's gonna spill some tacos on Princess Astarian. Don't worry about it. Okay, now we have a litter box mimic. So let's let's sketch this out. So first we've got the box, right? We gotta we gotta make the box. I'm sorry to all of you cat owners and cat parents. This mimic should not enter your home at any given time. Because your meow meows will be in danger. They might not be eaten, but they will get their butts marched. Okay, so here is our litter box. Uh, put the litter in it. And it gets really low at one random part. And now to make it a mimic, we'll put some eyeballs on it. It's got to keep its eye out for the prey. Is Loki giving me some Fire Emblem Tanya vibes from when I made the Fell Dragon tactician? My tactician from Fire Emblem Awakening. She did not have a good life. Now, the butts getting bit has to happen when they least suspect it. So the mouth isn't going to be on the box. Oh, no, 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 no. The mouth is in the litter. So we've got, we're going to give it, we're going to give a bit of a goopy mouth. sticking out.
Because otherwise you won't know it's a mimic. up a bit. Now the only creature that is safe to use the mimic litter box is if it's a mimic cat. Because I don't believe that mimics can only imitate inorganic stuff. Oh, hold on. Ugh. There we go. <coughs> a, tongue to, a tongue to lick you when you least expect it. You better hope it's not sniffing around for something to munch on when you're cleaning out that litter box. And put a couple of eyeballs inside. Because th honestly, mimics can look however the hecky heck they want. There you go. There's your mimic litter box. I'm gonna put some little... little litter spots in here. There you go. Don't let your cats go potty in here. <laughs> Actually, let's keep the litter box away from Graha. We've got quite a collection of drawings here today, you guys. We're doing pretty good. I'm gonna save that. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, a random Pokemon. Okay. Zet, pick a Pokemon. if I draw it from memory which I don't remember a lot of Pokemon but I'll try or if I can look up a reference but no okay you gave me a reference right there all right um I will try my best I'm not good at creatures but we will try all right really remember this dude he's got kind of like a triangular head you're like got like a bit of an airplane head ish I think like this it's like <laughs> um, <clears throat> like that, kinda. <laughs> I'm really bad at creatures. <laughs> Do you want me to look up references or should I just try and draw it from memory? Because boy howdy, I don't remember what this guy looks like. Except they often draw him like, meh, like this. Like 
I think he's got little thingies on his hands. Okay, look it up if I don't remember. Okay, good, because I don't remember. <laughs> okay, I remember his name at least, which is Garchomp. Alright, let's let's uh let's start over. Yeah, <laughs> Garchompies! Then make him a happy little Garchompy. He's like, yay, I'm being drawn! Yippee! And then it's kind of like a, like a, like pills on the side of his head, actually. Got kind of like a, a hammerhead shark plus pills head. We're gonna draw him kind of like. Who is that over there? And you'd be like, huh? And you'd be like, huh? What's that over there? And you'd be like, oh, oh no, what's that? I don't know what that is. Oh no. What's that? That looks interesting, but also scary. Twain, oh, I'm scared. What is that? What, what, woo woo? It's a scary battle, Twainer. I don't want to fight the scary. <clears throat> he got like a big old fin on his back, so he's like, Bleh. and then he got some big hippies, so we're gonna do that. Um, and he got some spikies on his arms. Should send this to my niece later because she likes Pokemon. <laughs> They'd be like, what do you think of a Pokemon? Hi, look. Get on some kimono sleeves. Um, I think she's. I don't know. I think it's like I think it's either basic like with Pikachu. I made the mistake of asking her mom what her favorite Pokemon is because I wanted to look up a pattern to crochet her one as a surprise. So I haven't asked her directly. Cuz I'm trying to do things to surprise her. So I'm eating a little bit again. I'm guard chomping, if you will. Yeah, that's where I got Pikachu. It's from her mom. <laughs> yeah, basically. But I will tell you the cutest story. When when my niece was a teeny tiny little babu. A little teeny tiny little babu. And she was first learning Pokemon. She couldn't say Pokemon. She called them Pokemon. And that's why I will now forever call them Pokemon. <laughs> it was the cutest freaking thing. Because, like, she was looking at, at my stuff. And she saw, like, my little... Because I have Pokemon stuffed animals. And she was like, that's a Pokemon, like, daddies. And I was like, oh, my God. It was the cutest freaking thing. Okay, and he's got some thick thighs to save lives. He 
got some some dickies. He got some cakes. Look at that badonka donk. Garchomp never skip, skips leg day. That is very true. Supposed to be going to the next song. Don't make me check you, YouTube. I guess I gotta go check YouTube. Hold on. Music is supposed to be playing. It's still playing. There we go. It was just between songs, I guess. Okay, and then... bigger. Hold that. There. There he is! The boy! I did do really good once I had a reference. <laughs> There we go. I, it, mm, I kind of struggle with the picture in the head thing. Cause like, I can identify how I want something to look, but like, I don't always have like a clear picture. vibe and then I scribble stuff until it looks right. Remove my salad, hold on. I'll eat the rest of that later. <clears throat> I have drawn quite a few things. Okay, this time we can make something up. Hold on, let me just save this and get it out of the way. Um... Okay, we're making up a new creature. What kind of creature should we make? Let's see. 
the last time I drew Toby. Well, this is just like I can just kind of make something. So let's do. Let's do something round. <laughs> what if I just drew a Furby? <laughs> Actually, I put Furbies in my D&D &D game. Everybody can get Furbies. Do you want me to draw a Furby? What if I drew what, what if I drew this into a Furby? Multi-eyed Furby. Don't sue me, Hasbro. Yeah, let's make let's make a creepy Furby. It's the Furby Lord. <laughs> um, I don't remember what Furbies look like. Let me look up general Furby ideas. Furby! Ah, 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 oh. Okay, the mouth is smaller, so let's just make the mouth smaller. And we'll give him some, some big talents. Or, wait. I gotta fit another eyeball in there. Okay. Hold on. from Cult of the Lamb. I love that. Instead of that little heart whatever thingy up at the top, it's gonna have like a gem. And 
And it's gonna have a mohawk because why not? Its head is made of fire! And it's gonna have a long tongue. Bleh. There we go! Wow, well, let me make the lines darker. It's beautiful. I love it. He's beautiful. I think he's perfect. What do you guys think? Walking walk home in the middle of the night and, and you see his little like, boop boop. You see him just kind of like, <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, he's on the same layer as Gar Chompy. Hold up. I gotta fix Chompy Chan. I got I got I got yeah. Put our little a little furbo in here. Towering over me or scurrying through the grass? I don't know. Which one would upset you more? Would it upset you more if this thing was gigantic and it was just boom, 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 like siren head size? Or would it upset you more if you just heard it skittering through the grass? You just hear the little scritchy scratchies of its talons on the, co on the concrete of the sidewalk as it follows you home. <laughs> These are all good drawings. These are all really, really good drawings. I think smaller would be more scary, but it could outrun it and hide if it were super big. That's totally fair. Honestly, that makes perfect sense. Oh, another wheel. Let's go. What's the next drawing? Running low on points, but let's spin again. Oh, <gasps> my favorite manga of all time. Something, something, Immortal Rain. Ooh. Oh, immortal Rain, my love. Okay, let's move these into the finish folder. And now we're gonna draw Immortal Rain. I love Immortal Rain. It is one of my all time favorites.
Oh, Immortal Rain, a.k.a. Meteor Methuselah, a.k.a. one of the most underrated manga of all time. No, Immortal Rain... Immortal Rain was just the manga. Just the manga, and then the prequel series, and then the spin-off side story, but that's it. Yeah, ten, year, ten years ago, we were lucky to hear about it. Um, that thing is like, oh man, Immortal Rain. All right, we're gonna draw. We're gonna, we're gonna draw my boy Rain. Okay, let's see. How, how do I want to draw him? I want to draw him smiling. Because he's just a happy, happy boy. He's a happy, tragic, sad boy. Um, God, his face is so cute. I love him. Trying to think of ways I can draw him in poses, but I guess it doesn't have to be anything specific. So let's just do, let's just do like a little portrait. Just do like a little little portrait of him. You don't have to do anything specific. I just really want to draw rain. And for those of you who don't know Immortal Rain, uh, what can I say about the series? I, it, uh, gotta go back to work at nine. Oh, okay, I, I'm probably gonna end it soon because we have been drawing for quite some time. Um, stay around. Okay, uh, I will try to be quick. Um, the Immortal Rain is a series about a man named Rain, Rain Juliet, who had a very, ugh, he went through a lot of shit. My poor boy, my favorite poor dumb and dumbass garbage human. I love him. He's not garbage. I'm sorry I called you garbage, Rain. I love you. Um, he uh. He is immortal, as the title implies. And, uh, he's supposed to live until a specific date when someone's going to be reborn who's going to try and destroy the world, who's also the person who made him immortal. <clears throat> yeah, is he immortal? He is indeed immortal. <laughs> um... But the man who made him immortal has been, like, reincarnating over and over and over. And his memories are getting all mixed up and muddled and fucked up and shit. And he can't quite... Sometimes he wakes up and he doesn't remember who the hell he is anymore. Because all of his memories are running together. And so he wants to destroy humanity. Because if there's no more humanity, then he doesn't have to get reincarnated anymore. 
which makes perfect sense, but it's also very tragic because then you have Rain who loves people. He loves humans. He loves everything about the world. And, and then he's forced to walk among them for hundreds of years in terms of um, his friend wanted him to basically like he was like walk among them live with them and in a hundred years when I revive or a hundred two hundred whatever like however many fucking years when I revive if you still love humanity kill me to protect humanity and if you don't love humanity anymore then join me and together we'll end the world um, Rain is immortal because, well, to put it in terms that the manga put it, he ate the heart of an angel. Which is this down here. It's got like... Some scar tissue. Um... <laughs> Not necessarily, but essentially the, the guy who keeps reviving, who who didn't want to revive anymore, who wants to kill all humans, um, he, he was really smart because he had, like, all of the... The angel does not... Well, the angel, yes and no. Like, they do show up again for backstory purposes, but they are not alive. They are... They are and it's not an actual angel. Um, I don't want to spoil too much... Um, I do highly recommend going and reading it. Uh, if you have the opportunity. It is one of my favorites. Um, it will always be one of my favorites. Um, but he, he falls in love with, with this, this normal human girl. And by the way, he's, he was only, what was it? He was only like 16 when he was made immortal, by the way. He was just a kid. He was, he was just a ding-dang kid cursed to be immortal by his best friend. And it's, it's so sad. He goes through so much, but he still loves people at the end of it all. Like, he still... He still loves humanity. He still loves humans... As fragile and as, as as fleeting as their lives are in the eyes in his eyes because of his immortality, he still loves people. He 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 wants to protect them. And so because of that, he resigns to the fact that he'll just he has to kill his best friend for the rest of forever in order to protect humanity. Um, but then he, he falls in love with with uh, with this mortal, Machika, who's the female lead of the story, um, who swears that she'll be his grim reaper, and she'll find a way to make him human again, even though she has no idea how. Like, she didn't do it in the end, but she, she swore that she would be his reaper, and she would, she would find a way for, for him to be able to die. Which, I mean, dead tragic, yes, but also, he's been alive for so long, like, he's just a tired boy. And he's he's a total spaz and a goofball. I love it. He's an absolute dork. Um, it is a bit of a romance story. Um, there's, there's a lot going on. And, like, it, oh, man, it, it's, it's, it's got a lot of, like, side stories and stuff going on. There's a lot of, like, like talking about morality and mortality and and stuff and then just you know just just like them learning how to live their lives and stuff it's 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 a lot but it's so good and i love the series to bits and i i have been slowly collecting the manga cuz like i never owned it i always borrowed it from my friend b um, back when, when we first read it. Yeah, well, 
I won't spoil how it ends. The ending was fantastic. And honestly, it did kind of play back to, to something that was said in the beginning, which made me very happy. Um, but uh, it, it had a really good ending. And all the characters are fantastic in it. The, the prequel story is really cool because you get to learn about like Machika's grandfather um which he was friends with rain beforehand and stuff and it's it's all just really good okay let me i want to make him more smiley hold on let's make his smile more a smile He deserves to be a happy boy. There we go. This series really influenced a lot of my art. B, look who I drew! Do you recognize him? Do you recognize him? <laughs> Yes, so over his heart, he has, let me draw it on another layer on the side here. So over his heart, right here, okay, right here, it's, um, he's got like this like fucked up cross. So it's like, it's like this. I, I, it's on screen so I can see it. I'm not drawing this off, off memory, but I know it's a cross. Um, and it has like a date written on it, like right here, which is the date of when his best friend is going to be reborn. Um, oh, I hope you find something yummy to eat. Um, but yeah, and then he's got, like, a bunch of scar tissue around it. And then they show you, like, later in the series, like, um, his, like, heart and stuff. Um, there's, like, like, his heart. Okay? Like, his heart. And there's, like, a bunch of, like, tubes and shit in it. That's all, like, linked up to the, the cross. So it's, like, all connected to it and shit. And if the cross is removed, he'll die. Well, I mean, obviously. But, um... He did not do it himself. Nope. His best friend did it to him. His best friend, uh, shot... I th shot him? Or he blacked out? I think, I think he got shot. His best friend shot him. And then when he woke up, he had that on his chest. And... Um, he was told that he ate the heart of an angel, and then he saw that supposed angel, which I will not spoil, um, and it, it, it broke his heart. It made him very sad. Um, but Immortal Rain is a very tragic series, but it's also very good, and I love it, and I highly recommend reading it. Also, B, it is on Bato. That's where where I'm rereading parts that I don't have from rebuying it. But yes, it is on Bato. So it's easy to go reread. I love Rain. I love him so much. Look at this good boy. Look at my good idiot boy. Julet. He's like 
like the definition of um of of those who are the saddest smile the brightest okay Zet, thanks for coming by stream thank you for all the art wheel spinnies have a good time at work be safe i love you Okay, let's put Rain. We're gonna make him. I don't think we're gonna make him any smaller. He's perfect just the way he is. I'm just gonna put him. Oh my god, I can't fit him anywhere. I do have to make him a little smaller. I'm sorry, Rain. My perfect, beautiful man. Let's put you right there. Where is the litter box? Here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move the litter box. I'm gonna put it over by Toby and Graha. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm running out of space. He is the biggest. He deserves it. <clears throat> Look at all these drawings we've done today, you guys. This is fantastic. Also, let me Let me just move this over here. There. <clears throat> That's a lot of good drawings. Okay. We're going to go for a little longer and we'll end it at nine. Because so we got we got 13 minutes left. Working on my hair. Just a little bit. Oh, too far. Or, well, we gotta do the crown first, I guess. Hold on. I'm gonna do... Wait, what? Oh, I hit the wrong thing. I want this. No. I want it specific to the layer. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't been working much on this because we've been we've been doing the art wheel so much.
I miss the head pappies. <laughs> I'm so focused. <laughs> and thank you for the head pappies. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Okay, like that. I think. I think that's good. Yeah. Okay, stop messing with it. Yeah, okay. I'm liking it. Okay, let's get the horns in there now. Oh. 
Oh, Harley, are you mad at me? Okay, now we clean up what's not visible. which always ends up being most of my ears. I love how I draw my ears for T. I love T's ears, my, my grumbling ears, but the way I drew my hair, it covers most of my ears. Sad, sad, sad. No, I thank you. <clears throat> Well, we made some progress on the the big picture. <laughs> but it is now a nano cloak. So we're gonna turn off the R wheel for now. We're gonna save our progress. And we're gonna conclude this art stream as a success. Crop this, and we're just gonna do real quick. We're gonna write.
thank you for 100 friends. Or 100 plus. Because there's a few more of you. <laughs> but thank you everybody for coming to hang out for the art stream. Um, I'll upload this over on... Uh, over on Twitter in a little bit. Um, oh, that was my neck. Dang. All right. <laughs> um, but thank you. I hope it. I hope you guys have as much fun as I did. I liked drawing the art wheel. I kind of want to add some more silly stuff to it. Um, we sadly didn't get to Riley's first silly thing, but <laughs> you heard the crunch. <laughs> that was my neck. Crunch my neck bones. Nom, 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 nom. Snap my bones like a dry bag of ramen. <laughs> but I, th I think we did some some good work today. Um, so next time we'll add some fun some fun stuff. But um, well, I mean we have fun stuff. We just didn't get to everything. Maybe I'll lower the cost of the art wheel. We'll see. So that way you guys can request more stuff. That visceral description was too accurate. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go for the night so that I can go in and also do some other other stuffs and watch some animes. Um, thank you for hanging out tonight in the Mimic Manor. Um, I love you all, and I'll see you next time when we play some video games, okay? Okay, bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye!